So Josh, a 3-1 victory, what are your thoughts after that? Yeah, they made it difficult for us. I think they sat behind the ball well and then, and then they pressed it well at times as well. But I think we had the majority of the possession, didn't we? I thought we were a bit too kind of one-dimensional in the first half. We, we played some nice football and kept the ball moving, but we, you know, we didn't have offer a threat and behind at times. And you know, we spoke about that at half-time and I, I think the lads executed it better second half. And, Get the results because of it. And Pegasus slide well, and you got a, a goal through a. It was a good shot, but the deflected over the goalkeeper. Yeah, Mo did well. Um, he got in. He's, he's bandy and he's back. He's got gangly legs, so they think they've got it and then they don't. And, he, and he's obviously tried to reverse it and then obviously got a bit of fortune and got and got the goal. But I thought he did well today. I thought thought Ryan did well. You know, Harry did well. Mo, Viva Mo did really well. I thought he worked excellent all, all game, and obviously the young lads did really well tonight as well. At times, did they find out hard with the the pace of the pitch, maybe getting caught offside? Or all the line are just putting his flag up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> One of the two, I'm not sure. I just think, um, yeah, I think we made some good runs. Probably just, I think we made the good runs, but I think that we didn't release the ball quicker. So, as, I, I mean, I'm not sure about some of them where we looked a bit dubious, if I'm going to be honest. But I just think we need to release the ball a little bit quicker at times because we were making the good movements and the good runs and we just weren't releasing it. But no, it was, it was a. For the lads that have not played, I think it's really pleasing to get the minutes. Um, Ryan's got a goal tonight, which he needs because I think he's, you know, we, we've had a chat with him and. You know, he's, he's been up there and then he's, he's dropped off a little bit. So it was good for him to get a goal tonight and he looks a threat all, all night. And then obviously have a good look at the, the young lads again. Obviously, Harley and and um, Freddie have come on off the bench as well and done really well. So really pleasing. And obviously, Ryan's played right back and, and now he's played left back, which against the men's side, you know, you're getting young 16-year-olds in is, is really pleasing to see. And they came back into it just after the break, got a goal back. Were you a bit worried at that point they were going to... Not really. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, they're a great bunch, you know. I'm, I'll never disrespect uh, Pegasus. I think they've been brilliant with us. They've, they've given us friendlies when we've needed them. They're, they're, they've got a real good bunch there. Um, the, the, the management team are excellent, you know, throughout the whole club. They've been really welcoming to us and warm with us when we've, we've been here. And, you know, so, you know, it, it's a really good place, I think. That obviously Nick, we, we 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 poach Nick from them, our, our secretary, so you never know what's going to happen when you come. But no, I think they're really good, uh, good people, and you know we want to keep building a relationship with them because they've been fantastic. And what I would say is every time we've played them, we've gone on a run after, so fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> For the second goal, a good ball where I think it's Fitzgerald, and um, yeah. they put it in the back of their net, but Torre was there ready. Yeah, I think we broke well. Um, it was from their attack, we transitioned really well, and then obviously Sam broke down the side and put a good ball in, and obviously ended up being an own goal. But it was a really good ball and. I've been there as a defender. You kind of half want to put it in yourself rather than the striker tapping it in, to be honest. But no, it was really, really well worked and just pleasing. We've worked a lot on transitions and breaking quickly and, and it was pleasing to see that tonight. And you mentioned Ryan, Ryan caused problems all night, Ryan McLean. Yeah, he I mean, was he, rewarded in the end. He picked a ball up, didn't he, an hour off and just ran past everyone. So, <laughs> they get the finish in the end. But yeah, I'm just so glad that he got that goal. I mean, the ref blow straight after, didn't he? But I'm just really glad that he got that goal at the end because he needed it for his confidence and, and his hard work. and. What he does do is he works hard off the ball, he presses well, he, he causes problems for the opposition. They turn balls over because of his pressing and it's nice for him tonight to get a goal to, to, to mark off that performance. Maybe we saw a bit more of Mo Fowl tonight and hopefully we'll see more of him next on Saturday. Yeah, he's, um, he gives us something different, something we don't have in the squad. He's tall, he's, he's, he's bandy, he's good in the air. Um, when he picks up the ball and drives, he's deceivingly quick. Um, so it was, it was good to see him tonight. He's got to get used to the way we play. I think sometimes he was pulling on the opposite shoulder when we want him a bit more of a kind of bounce, you know, a bit of a wall to bounce off. So we'll work on him, you know, with him in training. We've, we've had him for one day in training. So, you know, we're, we're going to work a bit more of him, but really pleasing to see him tonight. He, he was he was the threat all night. And a good balance between senior players. I think there were seven or eight in the first half and then yeah. the youth players as well. Yeah, we, we spoke about it when I've come in. You know, obviously when the, the youth team got taken away um, it was something that I wanted to bring back and you know working behind the scenes with Nashi to, to do that and get it back um, you know we we're trying to imprint our DNA at, obviously we, we spoke about the youth team coming in and you know possibly getting a college program and obviously we've taken over Nashi's gone over to work at the other place so you know we we're trying to really get back in the community and, and, and build a foundation of the football club to get young people through the door so um, and you know you've seen tonight We've had some young lads in, 16, 17, 18 year olds in, playing in um, men's football, which is brilliant. And Jan played full. Did he play full 90 in there? Who? The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jan, Jan's back in. So, played a full 90 centre half, marshaled with Jamie really well. So, yeah, it was good to see him back out there. He's, he's had a few um, issues this year, but, you know, Jan brings more than just on the pitch. You know, he, he helps out a lot behind the scenes. Um, sometimes he, he he's my. I don't know the best way to put it really he, he he's, he's honest he's not a nodding dog and 
you know, sometimes you need someone to tell you half truths at times, I suppose, and, and Jan is that for me. Um, obviously, we've got Burian as well with his experience, so we've got a great management team, um, and, and it gives us more than just just our, our, on the playing pitch. And he made a really important header. Um, well, we did at the end. Yeah, yeah, right at the end when they, they put a good ball into play, they broke wide, and he, he just got a little flick on the end. But he's, you know, in games like this, you need someone with experience like that, and he and he just calmed us down. He played, he slowed the game down when we needed to. He picked the tempo up when we needed to. So, and, and that's, you know, he, he's had a great career, and, that, and that's the experience that you know you need out there, especially with young lads. And going forward, there's quite a few first teamers that weren't here tonight, and I'm guessing you were resting for Saturday. Today. Yeah, obviously they had a game Saturday, and then obviously a quick turnover tonight. It gives us an opportunity to, to play the lads that, have had, that haven't had minutes and obviously to put themselves in, in, in my mind frame. So I think some of them definitely did that tonight and obviously the lads are rest up. They trained yesterday and then we'll go again Thursday.